Hi guys, I'm Ashley again. This is episode two for um, the Road to Rio for the Northwest um, region of the United States. I cover Washington, Idaho, um, Hawaii, Alaska, and Oregon. Um, uh, last episode, pilot episode, um, I talked about um, a professional basketball player, just turned pro, um, Brianna Stewart, who's on the women's basketball team. This um, episode, I'm going to talk about Nathan Adrian, an Olympic gold medalist on the swimming team, and he is a sprinter. Um, he, in 2012, he mostly swam the 100 meter free. He swam in the 4x100 medley, which got which placed gold, which is when uh, he swims the free leg, and then someone swims the butterfly, someone swims the breast, and someone swims the backstroke. It goes butterfly. Um, back, breast, free, I believe. So, and then he got a silver in the 4x100 free, and he got um, gold in the 100 meter free um, by 1.01 second, setting his um, personal record, which still holds today, four years later, of uh, 47.52. Um, he also swims the 50 meter. He's been swimming um, since the 2012 Olympics, um, he has uh, been swimming 50 meter in mostly all of the arena pro swim series um, meets that happen, you know, once a month um, during swim season, and then the world championships and short course worlds and whatnot happen um, interspersed throughout that. But you can check out all of the Olympic swimmers on the arena pro um, swim series meets that are um, broadcast live on uh, USAswimming.com. Or dot org, and uh, the last one before the Olympic trials just took place um, this past weekend. It was held in Santa Clara. There was other meets throughout the United States as well, but Nathan was at Santa Clara, and uh, he swam in 50 and 100 as usual. And uh, Nathan has topped the leaderboard um, for the this swimming season. Um, he has tallied. Um, 53, 55 points, and because he continues to win and win and win, um, but but this last meet, Connor Dwyer actually did pass him up. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully he can take that home. You know, you get a year lease on my BMW plus the cash prize. But uh, he's been working hard and um, pleasing um, cr pleasing the crowd um, this whole season. So it's fun to watch him. So a couple meets I want to talk about. Um, uh, so the first meet I'll talk about, a few meets I want to talk about with Nathan Adrian. The first meet I want to talk about is Orlando. Orlando is a big race for me personally, for Nathan Adrian, because uh, he swam the 5100. But in the field, um, uh, in both races, was um, the world record holder in 5100 free, which were set in 2009. He's a Brazilian, and. Um, a bunch of Brazilian swimmers traveled up to Orlando in March for that Arena Pro Swim Series to compete against us. A lot of time international swimmers come and swim against us. So um, the, this Brazilian's name is Cesar, Cesar Cielo and he has the 5100 world record um, of tw 50, in the 50 it's 20.91 and in the 100 it's 46.91. So those are very good and they still have not been broken. Um, 2009, um, you know, uh, a few, uh, you know, if you look up the world records on Wikipedia, you'll find that, you know, um, there are a lot of world records, um, that were, that took place in 2009, um, and, uh, so, um, uh, you know, world records, uh, stand, um, for instance, the 200 IM, uh, world record of, 154 was set in 2011. So, um, you know, um, it's sometimes you know they're really hard to break, and so, um, so this one I it seems that it's very hard to break. Um, if you look at Nathan Adrian compared to the world record, um, his fastest 50 was set in 2015. His personal best it was 2137. So, that's. Um, that's not even a full second. That's that's not even a, that's um about point uh well only about point four seconds away from the world record. So you know um 
um, it's a it's it's milliseconds though with swimming. So, and then his uh, his um, 100 free his Olympic set time in 2012 is um, point uh, point about point six seconds slower than the world record. So. Um, I think that's a really um, great bar to set yourself to. So I uh, just want to make note that I tweeted Nathan Adrian after going to the swim meet in uh, Mesa, which was held in April, um, what, what can you work on? And I tweeted him this photo. And uh, here in this photo, there's a bit of a glare, but uh, you can see um, there's three swimmers. He's swimming against Colin Jones there. There's another guy in the, um, the far you know, right lane, I guess we'll say. And then there's Nathan Adrian. And his start is slower, but he still won the race. Um, I believe his time was around 21.7 or something like that. But I said, what can you work on? You know, because um, it's a game of milliseconds. And so maybe if he worked on his starts, his, his starts off the blocks, then maybe he'd get that world record. So back to the swim meet in Orlando. Um, he swam against Cesar Cielo. Um, at that time in March, um, Caleb Dressel, who's an NCAA swimmer, um, and those races are measured in yards, he, he broke the American NCAA record in the 50 and the 100. And so he was actually at the Orlando meet. So he got to swim against Nathan too and, and give him a bit of competition. So he was in the meet. Um, and Michael Phelps also swam in that. And I believe Anthony Irvin was also in there. He's a big time veteran. He won a gold medal in the event about 16 years ago. So, you know, it was a packed field in Orlando, but Nathan still um, took home the cake. So then um, in Mesa, he won those races again. Um, his time was about 21.7 um, in the um, 50, but he had a big, strong win. So, um, and it's a it's a cool uh, sight to see. It was very windy on that day, and so all the flags were flapping, and he had to go against that. So, hopefully, um, and and in addition to that, he swam on the Discovery Channel MythBusters. Nathan's had to swim his fastest in syrup. So, um, you can look that up. Uh, I guess the results they didn't count him because you know he's so used to swimming in water that you know it was a bit of a muscle memory. Uh, win over um, water over syrup so the results couldn't be you know as accurate but um because he's so used to swimming in water but he has swim in syrup too so that might have made him a bit better as well um i know ryan lockie has said you know after you train and you lift and you work out so so hard sometimes it feels like you're swimming downhill so hopefully you know um at you know, as time goes on, you know, and plus if you surround yourself with a bunch of great athletes, you know, you're going to get better. And I think that, you know, um, Nathan's going to get better. So anyways, uh, so, and so I talked about Orlando, I talked about Mesa, and then the next uh, meet I want to talk about is Santa Clara. So Santa Clara is the most recent one. Um, and you're prepping for the trials at this time too. Everyone wants to make the Olympic team. Sure. Nathan has won all of the arena pro series. I mean, he's, He's um, winning, and he won the gold medal in 2012, so he's at the top of the world still. But uh, um, uh, in this in this event, um, the 50 meter, um, he did t he did place first, and in the field was um, the silver medalist from the 2012 Olympics. So that was that was a good crowd pleasing thing, you know. If you're if you're all psyched about the crowd and you're going to the you're you're excited about the Olympics and you go to Santa Clara to you know see some action. The silver medalist from Australia, James Magnuson, came up to Santa Clara and, and raced against us. So, and uh, you know, Nathan did take first in this event, the 50, 50 meter. Um, his time was 21, um, 21.68, uh, um, and uh, so, and he won. So that was great. Um, Anthony Irvin was also in that race as well. But you know, if you watch it on Arena Pro Series, it's a swift win. He, Nathan Adrian also has it posted on his page, so you can watch that. Um, in the 100 meter, not as usual, he actually did lose to James Magnuson this time. Um, so um, there's a bit of work to be done there. Um, just something to make note of, um, Nathan did swim the 50 meter in the 2012 Olympics. He made the Olympic team, but he did not make the Olympic team for the 100 meter. So I think that's what he really wants to do in 2016. Um, so uh, let's all pray that happens. Um, 
and uh, you know um, that's about as much as I can say, as I can say about uh, Nathan Adrian. Um, he is half Asian. His mom's from Hong Kong, and his father, his name is Jim, is mine as well. Um, he was a nuclear engineer, so um, I think you know if you if you're around Nathan Adrian or if you watch videos of him, he's got he's a he's got a quick personality. So um, that's kind of fun. Um, and uh, he went to Berkeley. He was highly recruited. He won state championships. Um, he's from Bremerton, Washington. And he has actually, after um, he took the gold in the Olympics, that street was named after him. Nathan Adrian Drive in Bremerton. So that's kind of fun. Maybe in the future I'll go take the theory over to Bremerton from Seattle and, uh, and post a picture of that. Um, but anyway, in high school he um, did well. And, uh, you know, what I noticed, too, is in college, you know, he did well, but it wasn't until 2008 that he was really noticed. He, um, he took his last year off of college, and he surrounded himself by pros, and then he started making leaps and bounds of progress, and he made the Olympic team that year. And, uh, you know, uh, so that's a pretty cool thing. Um, I think that, you know, maybe there's even more people, you know, if, he's, if, if you, um, you know, um, stir the pot a bit, you know, surround him, him, him with other swimmers who might, you know, be able to bring out the best in him, you know, he has the po potential to, you know, break some records. And he, maybe he can get that world record. I mean, he won the Golden London, so. And then, in addition, winning the Golden London by .01 seconds and setting a personal, personal best time, um, James Madison was the favorite, and um, he did. He won the Golden Goggles Award in 2012, so that was great. And uh, um, so um, that is, uh, I guess um, what I wanted to talk about there. And uh, here's another picture I have. I'm Nathan Adrian. I'm getting up on the blocks. You can see lanes are on his mind. Swimming's on his mind. And uh, another swimming one. So, um, and I guess um, that is it. Um, the Olympic trials come up in uh, at the end of June, and they'll be held in Omaha, Nebraska. I will be the, I believe, second time it's been held there, and uh, they serve they serve beer in the crowd. So if you're in the area, um, uh, feel free to grab a beer and enjoy the race, and um, cheer on all of our swimmers. And. Uh, it's also fruit. Summer's almost officially here, so I wanted to throw a fruit in the picture. And hopefully you can hear this uh, Latin, Latin music going on. Celebrate South America. And I've also, again, got my parrot brooch on. So, I'm all about Rocheria. Also, on my Twitter page, you will notice I posted something um, to a bunch of, uh, bunch of athletes. Um, and... Uh, um, I'm a Christian, so I follow a bunch of Christian rock bands and a bunch of Christian athletes. So I posted a big note to them uh, that we want to pray for um, the uh, the um, the um, the, um, uh, the 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 um, Swift. Uh, defeat of the Zika virus so anyway I wanted them I want I just you know calling all arms really to um, start singing about it and uh, um, you know praying to God about that that it uh, it goes away and so you know I'd really like that you know so they can you know have a fun time and everyone can enjoy themselves and uh, you know it can be a great time because I really think that Rio is a great location for it and you know you have the Jesus statue you know hanging out over the city I think it's a um, great, great, um, great location, and so I hope that you know everything can be cleansed and um, you know we can feel safe going there. So anyway, um, that's it. Um, thanks for bearing with me. Hopefully, you're able to absorb all this information. Um, and uh, yeah, go Nathan Adrian.